Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today I'm going to give you five tips for things I use in my fish room that just make sense. Welcome back to the channel fishy folks. I hope you guys got yourself a healthy snack and a beverage even though I didn't tell you. Today we're going to be talking about five things that I use in my fish room that just make sense. Sort of tips and tricks for you, if you will. The first item is a small bucket, two gallon bucket. I do like the five gallon buckets for water changes and stuff, but the small bucket is good if you're doing maintenance on a sponge filter or any filter. If you uh, are using a net or something to clean and you just want to dump it, you can put it in here. Also, these are really great if you take some water out of your tank to do a water change. It's easy to bring over to the garden pour it out there to water your plants with the nutrition filled water from the fish tank. All right, second, by the way, these are in no order. It's just things that I thought about that maybe you guys didn't know about or you know, possibly have in your house and you could use. And this is one of those things, deli cups. I love the deli cup. Um, everything I talk about, I'll put a link down below. Some of it will be an Amazon affiliate link. Some of it might be to another uh, online retailer depending on what it is but I love the deli cup now this is Dr. Basilier's food and their containers are really really good they're designed to keep the food fresh um, but let me just show you this is you know a big one now if you have one tank you probably would never buy something this big and you know I got the, the big hands they hardly fit like they barely fit in this one but the regular bottle that's like this you know that you would buy if you have one tank, that's fine. You take the little spoon, blah, 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 blah. But I have 60 tanks. Going with that spoon to every tank is just time consuming and I want to do it. So I put it in a deli cup. Now this is a mix of three different Dr. Basileers, uh, but then I can just walk and feed. But if you have one or two tanks and you want to mix different foods, deli cup's the way to go. Also, if you buy food that comes in a bag with the, the zipper seal and that zipper seal pulls off the bag or it rips or something, you can use a deli cup to keep things fresh as well. Because uh, obviously the moisture from your fish tank, water, humidity gets in there to no-no. All right, number three, a pipette. Now this happens to be a long one. I had a short one, but uh, the bulb had a crack in it, which pretty much makes it useless. And this is good for uh, target feeding if you have to, or if you have uh, the API master test kit and you gotta you know, take water out of the tank, you could and fill it up. Um, it's also really good if you're feeding baby brine shrimp, which is what I use it for. These are a dime a dozen and I would buy a few at a time um, because they do break. They're cheap, you know, they're, they're disposable, so yeah. All right, number four, dip and pour. Now this is a small one, I have larger ones. I happen to really like the aquarium co-op ones uh, because they're made out of that plastic that kind of bounces, it doesn't crack. So it's a little softer. They also stay clearer, longer. I have some dip and pours that are like 10 years old and they start to get that cloudiness to them. Like this one, this is a Lee's. Uh, this is the small size. I recommend the large size from Aquarium Co-op. This is really good if you get new fish, you can observe them. Uh, or if you're doing a water change, you need to take fish out of a tank. I don't know why you would, but you might. Uh, you could certainly put it in the dip and pour. Um, or if you're moving stuff around, you can simply, you know, get some water, dip it in the tank. Whoosh, Fill it with water, put your fish in, and then when you move the fish, you can rest this in the tank to get temperature acclimatized if you want, or, or plop and drop, just like that. All right, folks, the last thing uh, is a Amazon Prime Day deal. And I've talked about this before, but this is a pepper mill. Um, it's a electric pepper mill actually and what's great about it is you just turn it upside down and it grinds food. Now, I use this for a couple reasons. One, uh, I get large pellets for my plecos. 
But sometimes I want to feed that to guppies or quarries or angels. And because they are large pellets and they drop, you put it in here, just like that, and uh, it grinds it up. So this way you can buy large pellets for your bigger fish and still feed it to your smaller fish. Also, because it's automatic, I can just go from tank to tank. No, or anything, just. And we're good. Um, so I fill this, you know, I fill this almost to the top and then I just use it. This is probably two or three feedings. And I do it every couple days with this. I do rotate food, obviously. All right, fishing folks, that does it for my five tips for things you should have in your fish room or with your fish tanks. All right, quick things, honorable mention, you should always have more than one net so you can sanitize one if you have to and you still have another one to use. And you should always have extra airline tubing, uh, especially if you obviously you use airline tubing, but eventually tubing does get brittle and break or you pull it off a sponge filter or a box filter and the end is really hard and you can't get it back on or you put it back on and it comes off. So just keep some extra, buy, you know, an extra whatever package of uh, airline tubing. This is Cobol, I like the different colors. It doesn't last as long as the aquarium co-op stuff, but uh, just buy a small package and keep it on hand <coughs> so you have it just in case you need it. All right, folks, let me know down in the comments below what are your things that you think people should have for their fish room or for their hobby. And uh, don't forget to check out my website, michaelsfishroom.com, where you can buy guppies, plecos, quarries, and angelfish, and soon rams and perhaps autos. See ya. All right, fishy folks, I hope you guys grabbed a healthy snack and beverage, even though I didn't tell you to. We're gonna talk about five things that I use in my fish room that just makes sense. And the first thing are small buckets like this. I think these are two gallons, one and a half gallons. I don't know how big they are. I should probably know. It doesn't say. Oh, two US gallons. We're gonna, we're gonna start over because that's dope. Uh, there is an honorable, honorable mention, if you will. And um, I don't know what that is. I just made that up and that's dumb.